Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to another episode of For DevOps. In this one, we're going to talk about the five reasons to learn microservices. Let's get into it. Microservices are a way of making up a larger application with a number of smaller components. This gives us a large number of benefits. By having smaller components, this allows our release cycles to be smaller. This allows us to have rapid iterations in between deployments. We can add features one by one, rather than relying on the whole system and doing a big bang deployment. This creates smaller releases, and as a result, less downtime should anything go wrong during the deployment. Maintaining the application is easier too. Again, with the smaller, simple components, versus a large monolithic code base, we can make small intentional changes and improve as we go. And for maintenance, fix those niggly bugs. With a large monolithic application, weeks and months even go into planning to do in a deploy and a release. With microservices, the opposite is true. You fix that bug, deploy it to QA, do some testing, and then get it out to production. Short, sharp, and sweet. Empowerment, cooperation between teams is a great benefit. You might have a small team working on one of the microservices, and they can develop that almost independently of the other team, providing you have contracts between each one of the components. It's a bit like an API, for instance. You know if you call a certain endpoint on an API, A, it's going to be there, and B, you know what the format of the response is going to be. Working on each microservice as a component of a larger application means that you can have those contracts in place and increase the functionality or fix the bugs. And providing those contracts are unchanged, everyone can work together. In fact, cross-team cooperation can also happen because if a team is working on their bit of code and they need something changed in your bit of code, maybe they'll send you a pull request so that they can fix your code without you having to do any work. All these smaller components also leads to faster deployment. Imagine you're working on your second contract and you've got a project there that needs a common component like looking after a user profile. Well, if the company's already done that for one of their products, you can reuse that component again in the next product, rapidly reducing the amount of time required for developing. In the old school, I guess it's similar to libraries, except you can't deploy a library, whereas a microservice you can deploy. Point it at the database, which is another component. Deploy the thing, profit. And by far the best and the most important reason why you should use microservices is scaling. If the application is broken down into smaller components, then we can scale up each individual component as required. For instance, login function might not get hit that much, whereas the add to cart function does get hit a lot. So if you're running as individual components, in individual containers for instance, then you might have two components looking after the login and maybe eight looking after the shopping cart. This allows us to be a lot more granular where we put our resources. And a bonus reason why you should learn microservices, it usually pays more. Some of the biggest rapid growing companies are using microservices and so they're looking for that on your CV when applying for jobs. The company wants to use the microservices for the reasons I've just outlined and they want the people with the skills that can work with microservices. What about you? Let me know in the comments below if you can think of any other reasons why you might want to adopt microservices. we be really interested to see what you've got there. If you like this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.